Right now, the Georgia Department of Corrections says it's investigating another inmate suicide, at least the third in a central Georgia prison this year. It happened this past weekend at Hancock State Prison. Chelsea Bineford talked with the inmate's family, who says they're still piecing together why and how this happened. That latest inmate suicide apparently happening here at Hancock State Prison. The Georgia Department of Corrections says officers found Gerald Florence Jr. unresponsive in his cell on Sunday night. I just want some answers. Shirley Patton says Monday morning she found out her son, Gerald Florence Jr., was dead, but says no one with the prison has explained what happened. Nobody would talk to me and tell me anything. They just told me that I wasn't allowed to come to the prison. Florence was an inmate at Hancock State Prison serving life without parole for murder, aggravated assault, armed robbery, and other charges. He was on strip search where he could have no clothes or anything. If he had no clothes or anything, why? What happened? The Department of Corrections would not confirm that, but Patton says her son asked to be put in solitary confinement after receiving death threats from other inmates. He had been sending me messages with names and everything because he feared for his life. The Department of Corrections would not confirm that either, but told us they're not investigating Florence's death as a murder. The coroner, the jail told him that it was a suicide. Hancock County Coroner Adric Ingram says someone at the jail reportedly gave Florence a blanket around 4.15. Sunday afternoon. Around 440, guards found him unconscious. Ingram pronounced Florence dead around 10 p.m. at Navison Health in Milledgeville and says he had a cut on his neck. And right now, the Hancock County Coroner's Office says Florence's body has been turned over to the GBI for an autopsy. Reporting in Hancock County, Chelsea Byam for 13 WMAZ News. We reported earlier this year on suicides at Hardwick State Prison in Milledgeville and Macon State Prison in Oglethorpe. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, there have been more than 20 suspected prison suicides statewide in the last year compared to eight the year before.